Hey everyone, we're looking at the Air Team 2, which is a small device just for wireless screen sharing for screens. It's really moderately priced, like 450 US. Um, as you can see out of the box, it just comes with a little V cable, and um, from that, it supplies power into the unit, and then you've got HDMI coming out of the unit into the screen that you want. Um, you can also buy a little adapter, which is what we've got right here, which is just for Ethernet, which means we can run it on our staff um, circuit. Um, but you can also buy a PoE injector Ethernet socket for it as well, which means you don't need the power supply for it. So we've got a 13 amp power supply that we don't need if we ran that. Um, you can also run it on a dual NIC system, so you can run your guest Wi-Fi on the um, on the Wi-Fi input, and then you can use the Ethernet card on it for um, your staff Ethernet, which means that obviously you've got separate split there, uh, better for security. Uh, really simple on the setup out of the box, you bring it up on screen, it's got a little SSID which you connect to it, you put all the settings in, put the network settings and then it just configures um, and usually what you do is you register it to the Airtame cloud as well which I'll show you in a moment. Um, you can run digital signage on them as well, really basic in terms of what it can do, it's just got uh, integrations from Google Slides and some PowerPoint decks and you can obviously bring up websites and just send information to it. There's no inbuilt hard drive so it's constantly connected to the internet which means that you know you just need to be aware if you've got hundreds of these always playing videos off the internet or something in digital signage mode it's going to use a lot of bandwidth um, so it's usually what you wouldn't be encouraged. But I've set up a holding slide for uh, the background of the wireless sharing for when people aren't sharing. It's got a company logo um, and it says here Airtame wireless sharing screen. Connect via Miracast, um, so you can just share from a PC by pressing Windows K, Chrome or Google Cast, AirPlay or Airtame app. So loads and loads of options. You can pretty much connect to it via any device you want. Um, so I've got a little selection here of um, a MacBook and an Android phone. So actually if I load up my Android phone and I can swipe down and press uh, Screencast, lovely, ISDM Airtame start now. And I haven't even set it to need a code when it starts, so there we go, we can look through. Let's have a look at a lovely photo I just took of out the window of beautiful Halifax and scrolling around, nice easy while of showing it. We'll do it with audio as well if you want. Um, so, you know, there's nice and nice and simple. Um, it says ISDM Air Team as the device. Um, but obviously we'd have a meeting room that you'd have labelled on there if there were lots of them. Again, if you do go into the settings and apply a code, four digit code to be put onto all of these devices, it's actually quite good because then if people accidentally select the wrong meeting room, um, they can't see the code to be able to input it to share. Uh, so if I go over to my uh, MacBook as well, let's have a look. So I've got on here, I can do, I connect by a Chromecast. So if I go into Google Chrome here, I can press cast and press Airtame. I don't need a code for it because I haven't set it to. And as you can see, I'm scrolling through our website and it's available on screen there. Um, I'll stop casting as well. Um, let me try some um, AirPlay as well. So if I go to display settings on here. So I'll go to my displays and I'll share AirPlay as well. Start sharing via AirPlay. Should just take a second. And there we go, you can see my whole screen there. Um, and I can do screen mirroring obviously or for full Few full uh, mirror, and I've got some videos I'm showing. You can see that the um, the frame rate of everything I'm, sh I'm showing is is a uh, full 60 frames a second over um, over the you know the digital signal uh, wireless signal. So there we go. And I'll just go up to here and then press stop sharing as well. So that's the way to do it with the native integration. So uh, I can't show you Miracast, but yeah. Uh, Google Cast, Chrome, AirPlay, all that there. Uh, let's try the Airtame app as well. So if you're a uh, organization, maybe you don't want people to share via that, but you could also have the main application. So if I load that up now on my desktop, and I can see here that device, I would have a whole list of all the devices in there. So as an end user, I can share window or share a screen. So again, if I share window, I can click to select the, uh, you know, my Chrome. And there it is on screen, nice and simple, and scrolling through. Um, again, I'll go back to window and I can share the whole screen. So there we go, I've just selected that and I can see everything that I'm sharing is on the screen. This is everything we're doing is wirelessly here. That was muted, you can click unmute as well. If you'd like to access the microphone, it will do that and then it will start sending all the audio that I'm playing. I'm going to stop that as well.
disconnecting from the screen. So that's pretty much all of the sharing devices, nice and simple. Um, I'll take you through a bit more of the application as well. So let's say I'm an administrator, I want to change some settings on that device. I can click on settings here, I've got a password, so uh, I've got my device name and, you know, um, and then my background. You could actually have a, a website running in the background there or an application. Again, you do need some licensing sometimes to be able to do some of the, uh, the more digital signage signs. Um, but again, all my network settings are there, so I can go through. I've actually said, yes, I can do Google Cast, Miracast, and AirPlay on these devices. And then there's all sorts of advanced um, uh, network settings there. Now, we see it says overlay minimal on here. Uh, that's because on here, I've got just the small minimal IP information. But if I go to uh, guide left, let's say, and I apply that change. You can now see on the screen, it says present wirelessly, shows what it's connected to, download the app to start and the name of the device. You can change all of the text that's in there as well. So I'll go to settings again. Um, you can click edit overlay text and I can change the color of the text, background and all the text that's available in there as well. Again, I can have a look at some other ones as well. I can just have a normal guide, apply, and I think that covers up this area a bit. So obviously I'd need a different background. It's just a bit more area. All the, all the uh, text is editable. Um, yeah, and that's pretty much all the settings that you would need via for an administrator on the network. But I'm just going to put that back to uh, minimal because it's, it's quite nice. You can have none as well, obviously. And then let's move over to the cloud. So every device you could just associate then to your devices. Screens is the premium license here that you can see, which is for... Um, uh, the subscription plan, which is all for digital signage, but what we say devices, you can see them all online here, um, and you can group them up into different buildings or time zones, something like that. So let, again, we want to change some of the settings. Things. You just tick it, press it, edit settings, and now obviously I don't even need to be on that network. It's all on the cloud. So um, you can even change your LED light settings, mirroring. So again, Google Cast, Mirrorcast, AirPlay selected. I've got it on automatic updates, the appearance, so that just shows you how the, how the overlay guide would look if you made those changes. Um, background color orientation of the screen. Is it a portrait screen or landscape screen? Which is really handy. Output resolution as well. And then I've changed it to a background rather than a website or an image. You can have a sleep schedule for your um, uh, device, but that's only available in the plus licensing. So uh, paid license. Um, you have some extra, you can change passwords and things. Network devices on there as well. Um, I will cover up where it says the AP password. And uh, you've got lots of applications then available as well for the, for the digital signs. You can see the Google Slides, PowerPoint, home screen, uh, OneDrive videos. You can get all your OneDrive files playing, Dropbox videos, um, and Trello and YouTube, and loads, loads of the stuff like that. So really, really good use cases in terms of what you can do for the digital signage. And that pretty much is a overview of the Airtain 2 and uh, enjoy.